Hi everyone, this is your chess puzzler. Who would ever have believed Anish Giri to have ended up at the very bottom of the 2017 Norway chess blitz? Not only this, but Giri also manages to hit rock bottom, managing only one and a half points out of a total of a possible nine. Undoubtedly, this must have been Anish's worst result ever and hopes to be able to pick up the pace in the tournament which starts tomorrow. One thing for sure, Giri can't do worse than he did so far. I want to tap into one of Giri's games and why not look at his last round game against Fahir Lagraf. Fahir Lagraf with white kicked off with e4 and Giri decided to go for the Sicilian opening. With knight f3, d6 and bishop b5, the Moscow variation, Giri covered with knight d7 and the game continued with castles, a6, bishop back to d3, knight f6, rook e1, e6, c3, b5, and the idea is to allow the bishop some flexibility looking to jump on to b7. But here Legraf continued with a4, and it was here where Giri got his bishop on b7. Pulling the bishop to c2, meant one thing, and Vahir Graf wanted to go right for the centre. c4 did not stop d4, but with an ampersand, the queen recaptured, but through knight c5, Giri attacked Vahir Graf's queen. Queen e2 led to the taking on a4, and though this pawn could have been taken, Francis Best did not rush it. He rather went for something more exciting, e5. The exchange on e5 allowed the knight to find an excellent outpost, but Giri's bishop was perfectly placed to stop the knight from penetrating any deeper. Bishop e7 led to rook d1, queen c8, and Vahir Lagraf pulls out from his bag a very strange move. Any take is here in 2, 1 and pause. Rook takes a4 is what he played, and after knight takes and bishop takes with a check, the king was forced into f8, and this, in fact, looks very bad, because Giri has no prospect of getting his king into safety. And if the rook sacrifice was not enough, Vahir Graf places his knight on a3, challenging this bishop to just take him. Should Giri take or not? There is absolutely nothing wrong with the taking on a3, and Giri didn't hesitate to remove the knight. After the bishop was captured, this pawn would easily have been removed, but rather than taking on c3, Giri tried to get his rook active, and the only way to do this involved the king getting into e7. White prevented any plans Giri had from getting his king to safety by finding this ingenious move. And he won queen b2. Giri found an interim solution and with a5, he prevented a certain disaster from taking place. But Vahir was on real fire in this game and showed what he was made of. Bishop e3 was a killer move to say the least because he was banking on this variation. And before I'm able to show it diagrammatically, let me just try any odd move to show. So if h6, for example, and in fact, Two ways of mating exist, and we can explore both options. One, bishop c5, queen takes, queen takes, knight d7, and rather than anything else, queen takes with a check, pushing the king to f6. And once the queen comes in on f7 with a fresh check, once the knight is removed, just forget about the queen with h5, winning her, but rook e1, and mate either through queen e3, rook takes, king d6, queen d7, king c5, and queen c6 mate, or queen d4 mate. If now instead of queen e3, we see king d6, 
then mate is even faster through queen d7. Two, if we come back a few moves to this position, the other mate pattern is through queen takes check, queen takes and yikes. Bishop c5 mate and just look at the power of the bishop pair. And who would say you need the queen to mate? And if you now do not take the queen and rather block the check with a knight, after rook takes, queen takes and queen takes, we have the same pattern as before. King f6, queen f7 check, king takes, queen f4 check, king d5 and you can choose a mate between c4 or queen d4. After bishop e3, Giri went for king f8, but did know he was not going to survive for long. Vahir Lagrave could have gone for the killer move with rook d8, and after queen takes and queen takes, the game is done with knight d7, knight takes, king g8, and now bishop c6, and everything falls apart. Rather than rook d8, Vahir Lagrave went for c4, and with h5 and bishop g5, we saw knight e4, and what an unforgivable mistake because rook d8 dropped the queen and what a painful game this had been for the best Dutch player. I am sure I had never ever seen Giri mess up this badly before, but let's say in a few words, this has not been his day. There is plenty of more to come, but let's not forget tomorrow Giri faces Nakamura and what a start to the competition with this setup. In addition, I am sure all eyes will turn to the game between Carlsen and Wesley So, and what a better start than having a game between Nakamura and Giri and Carlsen versus Wesley So. And on this note, many thanks for taking part and many, many thanks for watching. Much more to come very shortly.